Hello everyone, hope you had a fabulous weekend. It's Monday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Mariah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have my lovely co-host here. Hi ladies, how are you guys doing? Good morning. Hi Jumi, what's up? How are you? I'm very good. I had a very restful weekend. And so I'm a happier Jumoke this morning. <laughs> you know this reminds me, I met a lady over the weekend. Her name is Rosemary. Rosemary Okoso, uh -huh. and she was practically saying exactly what we see and exactly what you said, exactly what you said that Jumoke says, had a lovely weekend, had a fabulous weekend. I mean, this woman watches our show, obviously, religiously. <laughs> I mean, she knows, I was just saying, I watched her mouth, yeah, I don't know, so this Sunday, yesterday, yeah. Okay, mention my name, oh, I have mentioned your name. Rosemary, Rosemary Okoso. Okoso. Good, how good. are you doing? Top sit up, how are you doing? I'm good. I already just wondered about using this one on set. No, while you're still staring, I'm still staring. Okay, so I had... Um, a groovy time we went again out. with your husband. Uh, it's two two weeks now, so that was two weeks ago. I, I I usually what I do is I hold him accountable that you must take me out to every two weeks. Like let's do something nice. that we would do on a normal day if we didn't have like children and every other thing. So really? oh, sometimes nice. I just drink water, but we we we'll go out together. <laughs> you know, like I'm helping him to cut costs. I'm like this water is half a day for one bottle. Low. Uh, is the <laughs> companionship I want? It's not really about all this everybody, but we get to hang out and. I usually enjoy myself. That's nice. That's, That's nice. good. Very nice. And it's that, that hanging out thing. My mother asked to hang out when we just finished fighting. And let's hang out. I'm like, no, I'm still so sorry. Ah, yeah, yeah, let's hang out in your company. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, that. See, you're lucky that you. <laughs> How you doing, Jerry? Who well, I like your hair. Oh, thank you. Cook up. Hair. Last minute cooking up. <laughs> <laughs> last minute drama, but I think it looks good. Yeah, it does. My hair is growing. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Don't just, don't just go to uh, go back to go back to Egypt. No, I cannot. Uh, no, we've we've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yesterday, the the sermon in church just really touched me in a way because I've been going through a lot, mm -hmm. and you know, you know when God is talking to you, you already know because He already told me, and somebody else told me, and again, my pastor was not preaching again, was not talking forgiveness, and I think it's really apt, you know, because the truth is, if Hi. you want to go. If you want to go ahead in life, that you must learn. <laughs> you must really learn to let go of certain things and just forgive, not because, um, the not because of the person, or not because the person deserves it, but because you want, you know, your life, you know, to grow and you want to have a better relationship with God. So uh, I'm learning to, to so let I'm go of some things. This person, this person. Oh yes, I have. I, I, even go. me, I've got for, I'm, I'm not. I'm holding on to the grudge on your behalf right now because <laughs> it's your because issue. we are not Jesus. <laughs> ah, it's not easy, but I'm praying. I pray that God helps you to really let go. No, I have actually. Ah, mm. you're trying. This really. way. They okay. don't know what's going on, but we do. And yeah, yeah. But the truth is, you know that you can never for fight for yourself the way God will fight for you. And mm. He says the battle is mine, mm. vengeance is mine. That when you forgive people, you heap coals of fire. In fact, sometimes I'll say, Father, I've truly forgiven. Don't keep coals of fire. <laughs> 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 yeah, me, I'm in the place where I just want God to fight the battle. Aha! Mm. Fact, I'm Let some, go. I'm praying some dangerous prayers. This day. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, hey, where? From your mouth. Ah? Hey, what's that? <laughs> yes, I said it. <laughs> Dangerous prayers, bro. This is a possible Let's take a break. I want to stay my team. We'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. Now let's start with the punch. Federal government plans 20-man panel to review electoral laws. Committee to tackle conflicting court judgments. Picture here of um, the Pope declares Mother Teresa a saint. Federal government's non-oil sector re re revenue shrinks by 143 billion. Boko Haram members plan to join army, says DSS. Woman abducts two siblings in Lagos market. Hmm. Okay, rejects Ondo APC primary results. Um, Jonathan's cousin encroached on our land, says Army. Um, INEC bars suspected corrupt officers from Edo and Ondo pools. Who read this baby mama? This, um, I mean, that was really, really. <laughs> um, it happened at Ojuoye market yes. in Mushi. Now, this um, lady, the kidnapper, she's just 22 years old, young girl. Hmm. Anyway, she, the woman, um, and she, I try to remember their names, yeah. Madame something, 
Monsurat. Uh, she was attending to customers. Yes. She she sells in the Ojuwe market. She yes. was attending to customers when this. 22-year-old kidnapper ran into her shop and abducted her two young girls, yes. um, two years old and four or five or thereabouts. Um, there was a, an eyewitness who said how it happened. Anyway, she was, she was arrested. Yes. The girl, 22-year-old, was coming from Oshobu. She actually part of the six-man group. And she said that um, the variety of radio was supposed to abduct 10 for their, for their ogre. They've actually already abducted eight. So this two was the last said and that they were going to add fact. Jumoke shared a story yesterday about uh, um, some f um, kidnappers that were just found and how the chain of how they monitor the gang, the finances, how they share money, how they buy things suddenly. I think that we should go take it a little bit further as per investigations. Intelligence reports. If you see someone, a neighbor that you don't know what he's doing, suddenly buying uh, luxury but, cars but because that was what happened in this case no but in that case also the, the boy was saying that his neighbors were surprised at his sudden wealth but they were afraid to report you mm. know so we should speak up because okay. it, and because when you report to um because some of this uh, this you cannot also um um be ignorant of the fact that the law enforcement agencies are supposed no. to protect Someone you reported no. My gate, man. no when when they are supposed to protect you and if they are not protecting you mm. you are not sure of your life so mm. by the time you report to the police police will say mm. this is the person so okay. you have to be sure Moving before on very you open your mouth quickly to the nation boko haram bomb maker fails in bid to join army hmm. army shows off strength in rivers Alamisia's 2.8 billion naira hotel rots away in abuja yeah bank shares decline leaves Investors with three seventy-two billion. Boko Haram, who read about the bomb? I maker? read it all. And um, their latest strategy is to try to join the military. So, um, oh, really? Yes, the bomb maker, the IED, IED yes, um, yes. explosives um, maker for Boko Haram was trying to join the army. Ah, but was it that he did not know that they had the list? Of all the people they were they looking for them list. now. Yeah. They, yeah. He's on the watch list. Anyway, that was how he, he was arrested. arrested. What okay. I wanted, to, what, the, the good part I feel concerning this story was that it, it brings to fall that the military are on top of the game and that the, the war against Boko Haram is being won. Maybe slowly, but at least something is going it's on happening. steadily. Mm. Okay, I had so intelligence we'll gathering. Moving on very quickly to Vanguard, eminent Nigerians insist on part-time national assembly. Sage Odumakin, Yakasi, Ubani, Rita Lori, others back the call for part-time lawmakers. Uh, this is a table here that shows the official salary and allowances of hmm. senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Hmm. Everything total 6.8 billion. Bam! Annually. Oh, did we? <laughs> Annually. One Niger year, 12 months. Nigeria deeply divided, says United Nations report. Security, you're ignorant, Federal government tells U.S. Congressman. Undo 2016, how Akere Dolu beat the odds. Recession, federal government, CBN to blame for economic woes. All right, so our National Assembly, mm -hmm. Babangida started with this matter. I was saying, who read this story? Babangida was saying that he actually wanted to do it during his time where National Assembly would be part time. But unfortunately, it never happened. Mm -hmm. But now he's insisting that our National Assembly should be paid only per sitting. Mm -hmm. And others have backed that up. Yes, Jumoke. Okay? Um, I'm going to link that story to the UN report on um, national. Um, countries, common CCA, CCA like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, saying that Nigeria is deeply divided now. Now, if a, a rep earns six billion annually, no, now it's all of them together now. Six point eight billion together, they okay. earn twelve million, which I think makes sense actually. Uh, Mario, I was breaking it down yesterday on my Facebook page saying that rather than pay one person 12 or 15 mm. million mm. per month, if yeah. you pay them about 500,000 naira maximum, then all the other billions that are going into the projects, they are into paying them, we put into infrastructure development, into creating employment, into manufacturing, into projects that can create employment for Nigerians, rather than pay one person 12 million and then he sits down doing nothing. No, they do a whole lot. Like they what? do a whole lot. But what I'm saying, what I, my, my own angle for this is that you cannot be a senator in a country domi domicile with a lot of poor people that live less than one dollar. 
one dollar is four hundred. Four hundred. They live less than one dollar, and then you are there. earning, <laughs> and you are live less than half a dollar. You are earning this much money, so and senator representing people. Mariah, Mariah, you are representing poor people. Mariah. I think that if even if the government doesn't insist on it, the onus should be on you as a leader to sacrifice that much. Listen. One bag of rice, Mariah, Mariah. is twenty thousand naira. Listen, another person even said that it's not about their position; it's about the quality of people that we elect there. Thank you. That people should actually focus on the quality, not so much because if we make, if we make it persisting. Now they'll start coming every single day. Right now, only about so many show up, maybe 20, twenty five percent only show up. But now if you make it persistent, all of them will right. show up. Can and you I pay say much something? more. For me, I think that the call for restructuring yes. this nation, I mean, this is what we are saying. Because you see, the central yeah. is so powerful. A lot of people it's kill so each other to want to go there because it's very attractive. It's yeah. because of the juicy package. Yes. Yeah, mm. So if they decentralize power yes. and power is being uh, shared across states. I am sure that these people will not even, they would, they would, they would rather go back to their states, work and earn money. One so question. for me, I think we, right now, how many, how many laws are, are they being, uh, mm. are, are they, are they passing? How but, many things that are directly affecting Nigerians are, are, are they sitting upon? So it? if they are not doing their jobs mm. to protect me as a citizen, mm. then there's no point for me to pay them okay. that much salary. What's the average age of the people that represents us? Secondly, how many of them would go there if they earn okay. minimum wage? Nobody so will minimum get wage. <laughs> minimum wage. <laughs> minimum wage. Minimum wage. All right, moving on to Daily Sun. UN issues damning report on Nigeria. Court deeply divided. Sorry, country deeply divided, says world body. Paints gloomy picture of economy. Senators reps salaries gulp 6.8 billion in 12 months. Talked hmm. about that. Melaye to Buhari. Sack economic team now. Mm. Um, let's see. Bible now in 24 Nigerian languages. Mm. Female pastor turns church to brothel in Ogun. Is a Yamu Basege others clash at debate. That story was pretty interesting because the woman she's a, she's a pastor uh, and her church. And what happens that according to her, she was only housing those girls. But the girls are saying that she brings men to sleep with them. They're about, um, I think there are 10 or so of them. Oh. And she collects um, 500 naira per, per, per sex. And she takes. The one, that, the one takes 300 and she lets the girl takes 200. So in a day, they make about 1,500 naira. But this Can is I the second time something, something, something like this is happening, where a church is being um, used. used to do some... The, last week, there was a story about the church one also... One pastor with 30 sex. girls. Yes. I, I think that we must divorce... We, people must go into religion with their eyes wide open <laughs> and their brains functioning. Yeah. Do not make a man into a god mm. to the point where it will tell you to do something that rationally is wrong. Mm. Well, because you think that because this person is a man of God, God. that was do the it. same thing. The oh, commissioner, for <laughs> the commissioner for police was warning um, mm. us against that. A lot of pastors are using that title, you know, yeah. that pastor title, to to do so, so many people. so many wrong things in it's our country. Poverty, mm. Yeah, it's, it's, in not, countries, it's not only poverty. In countries it's where not only poverty, poverty, I think it's more of ignorance because you, you see where we are right now we take everything that comes up because the man calls himself a man of god hook like a line and sinker we take it verbatim we do Ua. not even question he it who uh, it plays the piper dictates the tune the man who feeds you who mm. clothes you and houses you uh -huh. it determines whatever happens in your life survival okay. is the basic instinct of any yes, human so we being go back to social okay. social final paper social this morning welfare. is um this day faced with insider arms deal in northeast military ups the ante in niger delta Sorry, in Niger yeah, in Niger Delta. CBN calls for calm as PDB blames Buhari for recession. Robert, so. DSS arrests Boko Haram <laughs> IED specialist colors in Kano. Banks adopt survival strategies on frail macro environment. All right, not uh, we think we talked about a few of the stories we've, here. Right? Yeah, we've talked, but, but I want to talk about the bank because you know a few weeks ago the banks declared profit, mm. and I'm wondering how banks can still be declaring profit. I think that CBN governor should investigate the banks because they don't give us. Um, everybody is complaining, manufacturers complaining, and banks declaring profit. It is fishy. They should tell us how they made money in this economic crisis. And this is article is saying banks adopt survival strategies. How they, how they, they declare profit, Murai. I want to question. Billions. Um, the truth is that uh, President Buhari has been fighting this war against corruption for how many how many months now? Over a Over year, 10 now, months. fifteen months now, and oh, um, it's supposed to be assumed that upon assumption of office, there is no more embezzlement. So, how much has Nigeria made in these fifteen months, mm -hmm. and how has it been channeled? Where have where where are the visible works that the I money hold on, hold on? Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> While you are talking and saying PDP, PDP. <laughs> Let you that you say you are fighting corruption. Let us see how much you have made in this 15 months. Yeah, just make it laugh. Wait now, let me finish. Me, I'm, I'm very, I'm very uh, critical, objective. 
everybody knows that I, I, they know where, my, where I stand. So while we are fighting corruption, let us also have a clear picture of how much we have made as a country mm. and how much work has been done. That's so we have put it side by side to know that, yes, the accountability is, is there. No there is no more form for Hela Tony Wheeler Zoo. Now you know. I am not a Hela Tony Wheeler. <laughs> okay. I'm standing, I am yeah, I still critical. Stand by my votes. <laughs> I stand by my vote 100%, yes, no, but no. I also want to call him to, to you know, to be uh, transparent with us. We've not become a Wheelers yet. I'm never a Wheeler. We'll not be too happy to celebrate. Let's take a break. <laughs> Yeah, but we would like uh, uh, Baba, uh, uh, Baba Buhari to please do something fast because uh, there's hunger in the land. Please. Bank of rice is 20,000. Ah, it is where. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, this matter was trending all last week. In fact, on all social media, the management of the Nigerian Ports Authority has reportedly banned its female staff from wearing mini skirts, jeans, trousers to work. According to a statement by the general manager, female staff members who are found wanting will be sanctioned. Hmm, what are your thoughts? As I said, all over Twitter the whole of last week was the people talking about it. We'd like to hear your own thoughts on it. You can call us on 070-8066-8014. You can tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your VTVC. So who wants to go first? Jumake, you heard the story last week. Yes. What are your thoughts? I mean, they're saying you that you always you like your legs, that you're, you've insured your legs. I'm sure you've insured your legs. <laughs> you can't walk at NPA. <laughs> you know, you're very expensive legs. Bomb shots. You can't wear that in, at NPA. So you can apply there. Um, my... I have two questions for this lady who has moved from being the campaigner of Bring Back Our Girls to the MPA. That one, is that the job that they sent you? <laughs> Secondly, um, how do we bring in religion? I don't want to say that this is religious. Yes. It should that's, be decency. That's not, that's not it should be decency, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But if it is decency, trousers cover your body. Could yeah, be but fitted. tight, fitted trousers. Don't she cover did your not body. say fitted. No, she said in, in such a way. way. If she said trousers. Mm. If she said, ah, we don't want you wearing fitted yes, trousers yes. and mini skirts, who says just decency. Let me read it. Oh yeah, go ahead. For the avoidance of doubt, it is hereby reiterated that inappropriate dressing such as tight jean trousers, mm. cut-off trousers, mini skirt dresses, tummy and navel skirt, transparent exposing outfit, spaghetti strap dresses, mismatched clothes, rubber slippers, tattered shoes, and rough hairstyles. To mention but a few, mm. you know, for me, I think um, anybody. Is that the work they say? Oh, no, I don't, I don't agree with you, Jumake, because for See, a woman, for her to come up with that, it's, it's amazing. It's maybe it's possible what she found, what she found on ground. Thank you. Was total unruly oh, disorderliness. Really? And let me say something, uh, Jumake. Is a work, first of all, is a workplace. You're not in a club. And secondly, anybody that will tell you to um, come and dress appropriately, that person at least means you well. I mean, it is how you're dressed. That is how you are dressed. Mm. If you dress appropriately, you'll be addressed such. So mm. I think for me, it's a good thing. Really? Put in order because tight jeans and uh, what they call a mini skirt and spaghetti that is not an cut outfit. Off, cut off trousers, that's not an outfit for cut off trousers. It's call. not an outfit for a corporate organization. Cut off trousers well, can I, be well, very well, has a point that she should focus on the thing they answer. I, I the needs a lot of yeah, revamping, not dressing, of maybe looking decent and dressing um, appropriately for work. But I also know that some of the most creative environments don't care about your dress but about what is in your brain and i'm always w all for what is in your brain now as much as you want to look decent decency accepted you should the focus uh, press release from npa should be about how your cutting cost how you're increasing efficiency Bam. how your staff are no longer spending more time on cues Bam. how we have to where we clear our things within 24 hours because that's the rule that if you want to bring anything into this country within 24 hours it gets to the port you clear it that is not happening so mm. those are the areas that i want her to concentrate on mm. how to not get this staff no. to bring out their best but if, if the dressing okay. is impeding, if impeding them from working yeah. Maybe How it is, is that? distracting. Maybe it's <laughs> Maybe it's I not see where. I can, I can permit something. it. You know, that's how we started in church. Church, there was a proper dressing. But somehow, we've all now wear, and we now wear anything. We bring things that I are not appropriate. We wearing stuff, and I'm wondering, we came to the house of God. Mariah. What is this? She Let also me. mentioned tattered shoes. Go ahead. Take Let me, I have a couple of shoes and Kaduna, I style. 
I mean, I will call, have a long distance call from Kaduna. I do call. Ebu, Ebu, are you there? Oh, I'm so sorry. It was Jumaka's fault. I'm sorry. That's not true. Yes. How much do they pay them? Uh -huh. If I am walking in rain, in sun, with 18,000 that cannot buy a bag of rice today, will I not wear Tata shoe? Please, this woman should really focus on the right things. Mm. I agree about decency. Yeah. And nobody ought to tell another woman how mm. to look decent. You should know. Mm. I'm going to walk. You want to look decent. Yeah. Right. But I don't, some, listen, mini skirts, I wear short things. Mm. And I don't think that they're indecent. Yeah, people are going to say, ah, Jumoke, this is your legs. Ah, it's distracting. Well, blah, blah, blah. is relative. Because Very much so. So it depends on where you are. Hair is Mariam. relative too. So exactly. why don't we focus on what is absolute? Making money for the country. Bam. Okay, I, have a, I have a call from Worry. I want to say Felix something. from Worry. <laughs> I have long distance calls today. Madam, I'm Felix, I don't again. want to lose this call. Are you there? He's bringing I'm here calls. with you. Please go ahead. Thanks for calling. Uh, please, uh, what I was about uh, contributing was the, the cycle side that uh, Jomeke was talking about before. Okay, the, the truth is that. This government it is a complete failure. Uh -uh. Why do I say so? Now there is no more fuel subsidy. The million that they are be acquiring since, what have they done with the millions or billions now? The fuel subsidy. We we are giving NPC uh, crude oil and refinery worry is working and Portacot is working. Where is this money going for the past 15 months? Assurance I am still telling so many men from worry. Thank you very much. Then they, they keep on talking of corruption, corruption, corruption. Your Jomoke made a very good comment just now. Let them put it side by side. The money that they have inquired for the past 15 months. That's what what have they done with it? Mm, okay. And how many people have they paid with? Mm. And what are they established? Right. Then the other one. Thank you very so, much, Felix. That's not our topic today, to but thanks for, thanks for raising that issue. You see, that tattered hair and no, I mean, tattered, tattered shoes and, and rough hair. Uh -huh. Let me say something. Mm -hmm. I employ staff. Mm -hmm. Jumoke, it doesn't matter how much you pay someone. It, in that one shoe that you have, mm -hmm. at least make it look good. Maybe it has no. torn. It is torn. Make it, if it, even if it is torn, Jumoke, you can go to a, a shoe Jumoke. cobbler. And they will fix that shoe. They have not paid salary in six months. Jumoke, see, you don't have an excuse not to look good. Yeah. Yeah. No, no you do not. <laughs> Stay at home if you don't want to work. You know your, so hair, can be, to your, your hair can be said to be rough. Yes. See, listen, this hair cannot be said to be rough. Because this morning, I had put water and moisturized it. And I combed it. It's still rough so to me. It's nice rough to me. To you, it, it is rough. rough. Exactly. But at least I have brushed it. It is relative. Okay. Uh, it's not relative. Let's take this one is not rough. Hang in there. Money. Hang. It's money, money. Richard, are you there from Ogudu? Yeah. Please go ahead, Richard. Uh, good, morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning. I, I, I quite appreciate Dr. Um, stating the challenges that this woman ought to look at squarely Bam. and get herself very busy every day, thinking about how to move she and move forward. That's what I wanted to say. Then, having she said that, the job. I am also saying that these people that Buhari is appointing to work with him and the one creating problems for him and thereby making people to just abuse Buhari. <laughs> How can you be appointed in less than six months instead of you to get there and let's hear that pot can, I mean, the pots have been, been decongested, everything is working normally, the ships coming can back easily and everybody can get his container out of that place. You are looking at people that are wearing that clothes. Bam! This is unacceptable. Right, no, I think we can end on that. Can, let's, let's, let's she's looking for a What's her qualification? Image. No, she's let's, no, no, let's not go that far. Let's not go that far. No, she's the looking issue, for a good positive image for, for the, the, for the, the only image and that, you want And that should be respected. Because, that should be respected. Yeah, I think she's entitled to say, this is what I want for her, for the organization. She's employed to make money. To. Let's take a break now. <laughs> what kind of Because we are still talking about women. Actually, we're going to link that up to our next topic, which is curbing violence against women in politics and elections. We have a special guest and her team, um, Stephanie Liner is going to be here with her team, talking about how do we, what violence against women in politics. I never even knew it existed. Stay really? with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
welcome back to your view. Yes, welcome back. Electoral violence of women is one problem that has been identified as a stumbling block to robust participation in women's political process and governance. This violence against women goes beyond physical harm, which also promotes gender-based hate speech with sinister aim of deterring women from presenting themselves as candidates for voting. Now, joining us to discuss this is an ambassador to stop violence against women in elections. That's Stephanie Linus and development practitioner and good governance campaigner, Abimbola Jina. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. Good, Thank you. good to have you here. We're going to start with Abimbola before we come to Stephanie because you obviously are an electoral observer. You've uh, observed elections and you've seen these things firsthand. Now, could you tell us how it happens, the violence against women, what exactly, because I was hearing, when a producer mentioned it to me, I was hearing it for the first time, I never even knew it existed, but tell me, what exactly is violence against women in politics? I'll quickly start by even saying thank you to you ladies, because you've always helped to um, enlighten the public about this. You remember um, the good works that came about during the last election on people yes. with disabilities? Yes. So we strongly believe this is a good platform to yes. do this again. Um, I was an observer in the um, elections in Ikiti and Oshun State, and that was when we were ruling out the uh, research into people with disabilities. And we're waiting in the car just by 8 o'clock when um, people should be coming out to accredit themselves. And um, we started taking pictures because that's one of the things you do as an observer. And the military um, personnel on ground just came to the car and banged on the window, you know, seriously on the window and cocked the gone. The gone. And then um, I was with another um, um, fellow and, um, he, you know, he just said, wound down and said to him that, you know, we're doing our jobs and everything. And he said, you know, you know, I can just shoot, you know, I can just and everything. And a superior, you know, came around and said, what's going on here? And said he should leave us. And I even wanted to go on to challenge him. But my, my, my partner then said, you know, life is short. You know, I brought you here, life, let's get out of life. But that's the sort of thing. It was a good thing you said you didn't hear mm -hmm. about this because um, gender violence in elections is... it is possible that he would have done it to whether a man or a woman? I mean, is it because you were a woman that he did that or he would have still done it if it was somebody else taking that picture? Well, in that situation, I was the one that took the pictures okay. and it banged on the side of my window. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. I, I, also, I think that um, violence against women is a norm in a society to a large extent. It happens when men feel superior and feel that they can lord it over the women around them. And the reflection in politics seems like it's just um, a, an offshoot of a societal ill mm. that we should address entirely. Am I wrong? Shouldn't we just focus on let addressing let me, violence let against let women as opposed to that, in that. politics? Well, it's still, it's, I think everything still ties together. Uh, in politics, we don't seem to talk about this violence. That's why we don't have a lot of women participating in the political process. I mean, we're talking behind in the House today, at the Senate, before we only have eight or nine women, nine women yeah. out of 100 and something, now, and then and in the, out of um, 300 and something. So and yes, we have a national gender policy that mm. uh, of, of 2006 that says 35% quota. Yeah. So yeah. there's the, the, just like um, what we're trying to create this awareness is that we're trying to encourage women who are in politics to come out and share their story, mm. stories so that we can demystify this whole uh, whatever tricks that is put in place to deter them from mm. actually vying for political offices. We've seen people who have come out to run and someone is threatening you or they'll connive with your family or make your husband do something mm. not to encourage you or your but family that would to turn to you around. you a man or even you a man because they'll threaten you. But <coughs> we have general that politics is Yeah, is but, dirty but anyway. sometimes in women, because of the way we are, you know, we need to start encouraging. It's just like you as a woman, when you come, the first thing the slam is that like you're a prostitute. Mm. So we need to start changing people's mind that this is the things that they come and say about the woman, different things. Yeah. We should take that away, but focus on, is this person qualified mm. to do the job? That's what we should be able to educate so ourselves. Pre to, pre professional yeah. treatment as a woman. No. We're doing politics. Okay, I'm a woman, I'm in politics. Yeah. Please don't don't say anything. Don't, don't, no, don't no, hit you're, me. Don't. It, it's just the way the system is, is built. built. Yeah. Even if you look at some of the political parties, where they do their meetings in, in the middle of the night. Yes. And of course, if you're a married woman, that you're really, yeah, you can't leave your husband well, at night. I want to, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. But, well, yeah. what we're asking, or yes. because most of the places we've gone, we've gone to explain some of these issues to people, they said, yes. uh, and say, you know, 
political party should be more sensitive mm. to setting things that are peculiar a to little women. bit to women. Okay. And also, and we've been able to identify the various forms of violence, which is physical, psychological, economical, uh -huh. and um, sexual, and you know, some also traditional Global. practices uh -huh. that are preventing women yeah. from fully participating or bringing out, showing their capability in things that they're supposed to do. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, then she was commissioner for finance and she's now um, um, finance minister. Mm -hmm. came here when she yeah. was in, um, was it Open State? Open State, yeah. yeah. And we attended the conference and she was talking. She said that um, she was called up and she said um, the, they then asked her to nominate yeah. people that she thought were qualified to be in a political, I mean, to serve as commissioner for Open State. Mm -hmm. And she wrote a long list of about, was it 10 men or five men or something? And she didn't, it didn't cross her mind. It was the person when she handed over the notes to the person and the person now said, ah, ah, you, uh, wouldn't you, uh, yeah. are you not qualified? So my question is that, you see, when we say encouraging women to go into politics and all that, what if the women themselves are not seeing that? Yeah, that is the, the that is because you're not seeing that is because of what the environment is putting back at you that you cannot aspire to. So how to. do we not correct this? So that's an, is, by, is by creating awareness about the different kind of violence, demystifying them, letting the women share their stories, and just making sure that the political, or we have viol um, the Violence Against Persons Bill, making sure that most of these policies or that we have, the bills that are being enforced, so that everybody have equal um, playing, sure. you know, ground to to participate, you know, yeah. and all of that. And if I may add in, you know, um, you, 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 the the other factor is we shouldn't forget that our society is highly patriarchal. Yeah. And the underlying factors here, the implications is that you know we're looking at how deep our democracy is. We're looking at security of women. We are looking at gender equality. You know, these issues is not just a case of the woman not wanting to be part of it. This is security we are talking about in politics now. But there are also other issues that for a long time that has accumulated and would make any woman not want to participate. So if we are going to measure how good our democracy is getting, deepening, that is what it's called, then we need to measure the stakes by those indicators. We can't just keep talking blankets as the environment improved, the policy improved, and that's why the GOB bill at the National Assembly should be passed. Okay, let me take this call from Abisoye. Abisoye, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Good morning, please go ahead. Good morning. Morning. We can hear you. Please go ahead. Hello? We can hear you very clearly. Please go ahead. Yes. I would like to comment on the issue of violence against women. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. I think women need to watch, look out for themselves. Most of the time, they are the ones pulling themselves down. Mm -hmm. If you say, as if a woman sees another woman in going into politics, she will be the one, the other group of women will be the ones still fighting against her, trying to pull her down. So I think it's high time women as a whole need to pull their clique together and work as a team. Thank you, Abisoye. Thank you. Is that a myth or is that real? Because I, I hear that all the time. And I'm like, I know a lot of women who support each other. I mean, on this yeah. day, we know we support each other. But I mean, is what that I, a myth or is that a reality? What I would say is that men pull themselves down to death. Just <laughs> and women do it by the mouth. But let me tell you, the truth of the matter, <laughs> the truth of the matter is that women, they're good women and they're bad women. Mm -hmm. You are all good women. I just talked about having been here several times mm -hmm. to push yeah. many of the policies. Mm -hmm. So I always say to women that say women put themselves down, so are they in men, but also look out in the society. You, there are loads and good women everywhere. Yeah. I think so. I'll add by saying that with the statistics that we've, you know, been on ground, the statistics that stop I have done in Kogi and Bayasa, they've found out that about 60% of violence inflicted on women is done by men. 2% is actually from women. Oh, really? And because I feel that we're in a society where I don't think the women are trying to drag themselves down. It's more like the women will play another person's record on our head. Because mm -hmm. in your head, maybe in your home, somebody has said, okay, for instance, there's a woman going down and people are like, oh, what is she doing? Mm -hmm. You are not reacting because generally you want to react that what is this mm -hmm. woman coming out for? You're mm -hmm. sort of like playing with different reactions of yeah. things being put in your head that you cannot aspire. And that's one of the things that we want to change. Mm -hmm. so Let me take and, this call from okay. Kaduna. Ebuka, hey, you're back. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Sorry, come on in. Go ahead, please. All uh, right. Um, I'll first of all to the present issue, present touch from ground, violence against women. Yes. Quite right, I don't support violence against women. 
they can just be, can we just make it violent against everybody? Mm -hmm. In general. Okay. What will be given alone? Do you understand? <sighs> violence in any form, the election is not, it's not cool. Be it against the men, be it against the men. Let's even talk about it against the men. Because the election is clear. Thanks, Ibuka. And yeah. if you look at the part of the election and all that. Thanks, Ibuka. Okay. Yeah. Point taken, yes. Yeah, but I'm... <laughs> it's a violence oh. against... Well, we, well, that's one of the things. When they passed violence against persons, they made it violence against persons instead of just restricting it. Because, yes, we understand that men go through some yeah. sort of violence. But check the statistics. Who are more of the victims? We. Mm. And you well, like we're saying, we're making reference in the National Assembly where you have hundred and something women, like at the Senate, hundred and something men and you just have only eight women. How will they represent your interests? Mm. How will they encourage you? Do you understand? To, I, I, so I'm that's what I'm saying. So when you check the statistics, mm. it's just like when they're saying women equality, we're not trying to say we're trying to be in comparison with anything. We're just saying that if I have the ability, I went to school, I have the ability to deliver, why should I be paid less? Mm. Why should I be, because I'm a woman, be treated less than, you know, that's why the women, it looks as if they're trying to fight I for th their I own space. I think that at the end of the day, this kind of comments are really common, saying that let everybody is equal. But the point is women are weaker sex. And we are supposed to be treated as such. Even though we're fighting that, recognize us. We also want to be treated. You won't. You won't. I mean, uh, no, I you will not put it. the yeah. same force <laughs> you put in at holding a man yeah. to hold a woman. The effect on a man might not be any big deal, but that same holding of a woman would give her more pain than you get to a man. That is the way we're wired. No, you just and, ask and who commits most of the violence. Yeah. You know, in ra if you check the ratio, it's yeah. the women. It's the yeah. men against women and more and than and the women against Let me, against let me yeah. take this call first. Um, Adenika, are you there? Oh, I'm sorry I lost that call. Go ahead. And you think if I could add, what we're discussing now is actually gender mainstreaming. What we're saying is that the, perce the perception of the needs of the woman and the man being put at the table and then you know you make policies and make the society from that perspective mm -hmm. even in the home the the, the views of both the fa father, uh, the and, father the and mother brings up the home that's how you run the it's home the and if we keep thinking that you know 50 percent of the society does not have a view then we're getting it wrong i'll use a simple example if you go to the toilet you have the men's toilet you have the women's toilet and that's equity because the way the men use the toilet is it's different from us them. so that's what the society that is how we should think and go. I hear you. And then when you talk about violence, again, I was just trying to give you a, a little story about a woman who wanted to run for political office and, you know, the talks went in and got her son to rape her. Huh? That, well, they, that's what I'm saying. There's very horrifying stories that sometimes, you know, we don't want to talk about, but those are the things that we want to share. So when you understand what these people go through, and that automatically, mm -hmm. the woman just kind of like disappears. So they do so, so many strategic things to you, although they do also to the men, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying, those are just one of the cases that you hear. Let me take this call. Oh, Saruti from Akuti, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Please go ahead. Hmm. Um, the name is actually Saruti, not uh, the way it's spelled. Oh, Saruti. Ah. Yes. Society, sorry about that. Don't about we? <laughs> okay. So it, um, basically, I I find topics like this rather lame, and I'll tell you why. Um, no offense meant, but I, I think that um, well, women should should strive for excellence. I mean, I, I don't think that you know um, you know women claiming weaker sexes, women wanting attention this way. I, I don't I don't like it. Uh, uh, Clinton is about to become the first female uh, uh, president in the United States of America. She didn't get there by getting some kind of um, uh, attention by the male folk. Okay, let's let some women tag along. That's what you have here. You know, um, XYZ percent female participation in politics. XYZ percent female participation in government in governance. You know, if you're good, you're good. It doesn't matter what sex you are. You know, think so that, 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 it's, 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 it's level playing field. That's the way I see it. Exactly. Thank you very much. That's a valid no, argument. That's, that's, a valid argument. That's, an, no. that's an argument a lot of people think that, you know what, stop fighting for equal rights. Stop fighting for preferential treatment. Build your capacity see, yes. for influence. But she got there based on statistics because I, they also, I, I, there I, I is I a society that insists this, on statistics that women must be oh, represented. That's what I'm no, saying. But, but Clinton what has saying. a track record. Yeah, yeah. You see, let me tell you something. Hang in there. Both of us at the same time. Can I say, one second. The men made a statement 
basing it that the society we tend to accept it when, you see, when a, 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 a black man works in america society. now we think that oh a yes. black man has freedom mm -hmm. but some men had to fight well, some that. men had to die well, the same way women had to die women had to fight to have a voice in america Quite and a woman can come up that bow um, these people are fighting that they can so actually they recognize hold on because mm -hmm. you can have capacity and they undermine Mind your capacity, capacity. Let me and make you look as if you don't even have the capacity That's just because you know that you are even in america there clinton is also still facing that what is keeping her is the fact that she has a proven track record. Mm -mm. What that is, is what is yeah, keeping yeah, her yeah, there. They have if not, they would have flung her yeah, out. No, they have ago. institution. Let's eh? take they have a very strong institution systems. that protects systems. what they went. And they, keep, they keep pushing. Even mm. with, with like, you see that they are all pushing. Have we ever asked that? Yeah, I'll take a break. Okay. And in Nigeria, you don't, you don't have that strong have institution. And that's why we're trying to keep that institution so that there's an equal playing ground. So that you respect my capacity as a woman. And I respect you as a woman. Let's take a break. Come back and talk to Bimbo State. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Welcome back. Yeah, Jumake, you're gonna have you had a question? Yes, I have a question. Um up north, for instance, where women are given out um, in marriage as young girls, where um, the culture of that the man decides what happens to his woman, be him, her father or her husband. If a woman knows that she's capable, for instance, to be the governor and she says, I want to go into politics, her father or her husband may say no, because politics in Nigeria is dirty, is violent. So what we are fighting for women, if we make politics generally clean and pure, regardless of who participates, because if it is just men right now and they're killing themselves, a woman who wants to come out, the men who love her will say, no, not this kind of politics are you going to go into. Would we then need to be fighting for violence against women, especially yeah, if Nigeria, calls. if Nigerian politics is just plainly clean. I hear that for men, it's a different thing. They would kill to get to where they're going to. And so if you want to put a woman in that mix, and you are now saying, make sure you don't kill her, aren't we do it, going about it the wrong way? That's why I keep saying that, you know, we, we cannot just say we own democracy, we're a democratic country. We need to have the tenets of democracy. And voting is our right, it's our franchise. So how many more people can vote year, uh, four yearly? You know, the last elections, we need to have an aggregate. How many more people voted more than the previous? Mm -hmm. That is how you know if we're deepening the, the tenants, if we are truly democratic. Mm -hmm. It's about the systems we've been talking about, that how easy is it for the woman to go into a political party, pick up the tickets, and know she will get a fair um, um, fair, uh, primaries. fair from the primaries. Yeah. primaries. Yeah. But let me tell you, behind the scene, I, I always give kudos to the, the women in politics already, because they never really have it easy. Mm -hmm. We always think that oh they just got it it's not easy you know it's about the loyalty to the party they will tell you that you have to step down this is yeah. not the season i mean are you going to tell me that in this present um dispensation you think that in the last election they made it easy for women to come they no. think that oh we need to um grab power from the from the uh, mm. uh, other party so it has to be tougher men that we put out there so the women step back but yet women are the ones that actually push the political party mm. so i agree with you that we should be building systems not stronger men okay let me take this call from yinka yinka are you there yeah, good morning. Please go uh, ahead. Thanks for calling. How are you this morning? Very good. Uh, I love you guys, ladies. Good luck to you. Mm -hmm. My point this morning is that uh, I would have preferred something like uh, my treatment against women in Nigerian politics rather than uh, yeah, uh, violence against violent. women in election. In Nigeria mm -hmm. today, I think uh, few. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, well, maybe we can see one percent or two percent of women who can start violence in our election in Nigeria. But in a situation whereby we are fighting or we are going to the National Assembly to uh, legislate, uh, to make it something of a very good institution for women and men to build up the same power in an election or in, an, in politics in Nigeria, will have been more about to serve 
because women that have the same qualification that I have, and I see, I, and I see three star women as a second fiddle. I think this is exactly what we need to fight against in Nigerian politics. Because women and men should have the same standard as, as an institution in Nigerian politics so that everybody, including women or men, can participate in any position. As it is in Nigeria today, I don't know why a woman cannot be a Nigerian president now. Because we have more women that are more qualified to be a Nigerian president. Okay. So violence against women, in fact, it is something of uh, not easy. All right, so oh, VAWI is about women against elections. Um, sorry, no, violence against, against women, women in elections. elections. Yeah, Generally. just basically, and also in politics, and just trying to share more awareness and educate people's mind, especially people who are voting. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you were saying about women, the last topic we, we left mm -hmm. off, you know, strive for excellence. Mm -hmm. We have laws that are not enforced. Mm -hmm. And I was telling you, for instance, you have who is going to represent my rights as a woman that understands my pain if we only have eight women in the well, house. I'm just saying, hold on, I'm mm -hmm. just saying, and you can't, no, and you about a vote and mm -hmm. nobody is you know representing your interest so we have all these laws that need to be enforced the question stephanie yeah. i wanted to ask you is yeah. that when you already have that there is a quota that a woman must occupy yeah. and nobody is, is fighting up. yeah nobody's even fighting to Who say that that, that quota no that's what yeah. we're saying no. so let us start with no no there are already laws on ground that ensures that that's a particular it. quota a woman must yes. occupy that quota why are we not fighting for that one first they that's must come it. from a political party they must have a platform. That party, they pick the form, they'll tell them, calm down, this is not your time yet. So that's what we're fighting for, that women should be aware and be willing to step up to pick up the form. And when they say step down, you say no, they, they can say, no, I want to get to this point. I want to fight it. We need a platform. You're not getting you cannot point, get to They will not tell you to step, you step down up. if they know that no. if they not feel that quota, mm -hmm. the people will rise against it. No. No. Well, that's, well, if the people if don't I, know, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So okay. Let's clarify okay. a bit. You know, we have um, what is called international instruments like the CEDAW. Mm. We have the national gender policy. Mm. They aren't actually laws. Mm. What we're pushing for is that it should be domesticated. That mm. means we have signed to be partners to those yes, international yeah. policies of good practices. Mm. So we now want to make it happen here. So that's why so many work is going on, my dear, mm. on advocating, lobbying, that we change our policies so that we fit into the global standards. I have a few tips. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, Orims says, I really don't think we can clean our political system as long as diabolical means still <laughs> exist. Um, True Heroes Award says, Nigerian leaders have thought its future to be nothing other than greedy and like a jungle its survival of the fittest aurora says i support equality of all level playing field we can't say this now and say she's a woman when it comes to driving trucks olua femi says leonard women run away from politics if jumoke can context for election that's the beginning of change <laughs> um Olawale says um talking about mpa Good morning, speaking Benin. Okay. We have to run a very it's soon. Yeah. Yes. Most Nigerian men are against Senator Remy Tinumbu, but wooing for Hillary Clinton. Let's give our women a chance. Yes. That's Daniel Tommy. So ba basically, stop worry, my dear, mm -hmm. is to create awareness, to educate the populace. You just people like that, so that you see things differently. Mm. So that if a woman comes out, you look at, is this woman qualified? Mm. Let me not look, look at it from the perspective that I'm a man. I don't feel a woman should, you know, should take up this position. And also to encourage women to support themselves, support other, other women. Because when you come for voting, women are the ones who are the majority of the people who have a women political vote. party? Where no, the men are not we, I don't think we have look, the Listen, the we issue are, now is that the political parties that you have, the men are saying... That's why you have to do the lobbying and two, the talking. We need things. INEC to also, you know, uh, come into and find out that, make sure that these political parties have certain rules that mm. are and also the quota. that are also sensitive to mm. women and all of that. So, you know, those are the, some, mm. that's something you do, is negotiation. Yes. Okay. And even when we go to stuff where we go to different communities, we go to meet the elders, the men, we explain ourselves. And they understand it because sometimes people don't even understand that they are inflicting violence on, on women. women. So by the time you open it up, and tell them this is it. Mm. Their minds become open, okay. and that's why the education and the right. awareness is so needed. We need to run up. Let me let people have. Be, I'll just way. say this. Um, I'll just give you a scenario. Do not yank 
a, a, a pregnant woman off the queue when she wants to go and ex exercise her franchise by saying, oh no, you kill her and she'll be by, and you yank her off and you go forward. That is the typical violence against women in elections we're talking about. Join yes. our party, the People's Party. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why no, that was not anymore. The People's Party, TPP. Yes, you can do this thing. But I should yeah, but I don't think it should just be just so women, I think, because you also have We need men in our lives. We need men in our lives. We need men in our lives. Exactly. A common ground. A common that ground. everybody is respects it. one another. Okay. So. All right, let us respect together on this on this platform. <laughs> yes, that's all we can take. Thank you very much, Stephanie Thank and Bimbo, you. for being here. Thank you. And um, are you guys, what, what else are you like, just advocating? You're going to media media houses. What else are you doing to? We'll be monitoring message. the elections uh, uh, in Edo State, Edo which is coming Undo. up um, next sat this yeah. Saturday, yes, and Edo, yes. um, Edo and um, Undo, uh, Undo, Undo very hopefully. Very yeah. Okay, good. Protect yourself. Definitely. <laughs> As I protect that women, protect yourself too. <laughs> That's all we can take on the show. Have a fabulous day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. All right.